Is it ready? It's ready! All right, today on Candle Chats, we're reviewing Shrine Candles. I have seen these all over Instagram. They are so Instagrammable, so cute. Um, if we were doing packaging alone, 10 out of 10, but we're gonna review the scents and the burn and all of that. Even this ready? packaging, you, you like this? Yeah, so they're called Shrine. It okay. looks like, oh, like a shrine. I think the from the front it looks much better than from the back, I will I say. Mean, it looks, yeah. It looks like this was like the packing like peanut material for it, like from the back. I thought like it was a mistake that you had it in here. No. Okay. Um. So when I opened the package, it was taped up with like super cute tape. I When I undid the like bubble wrap or whatever that was around it, this thrilled me. I didn't know it was gonna come like this. And I was like, oh my God, this is maybe <laughs> this is my newest. Oh my God. Newest favorite candle <laughs> brand because it's, it's seriously so cute. And then you take it out and it gets better. Because it's made from mushrooms and it's compostable. Oh. So they really, I think they put the most thought into packaging. It seems like a very um, millennial Instagram-y brand. It came with wow, these mushrooms. stickers. We just had mushroom pasta last night. So basically this is like the pasta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it comes with these cute stickers. Like they've clearly spent a lot of time thinking about packaging. Comes with this cute pen. I don't know if all orders come with this, but like so cute. And if we're continuing talking about packaging, what really thrills me with a candle, I gotta say, is when the wax matches the canister like that mm. is my favorite detail i only know like um boy smells does this with their pride candles and ovros that that french brand does it where they match the container with the wax i think that's the cutest detail love i it. absolutely love that love it this so, is like packaging chat not even candle chat yet so packaging alone full points love it if that was it i would be all on board but it's not so i feel like there's a twist coming all right, so this is the first one <laughs> that we're gonna review. Again, the label, so cute. Mm -hmm. Give it a sniff, tell us what you think it smells like. <laughs> this is where it goes downhill. <laughs> I've said cotton candy before, but I, I get like some cotton candy. It just, it smells like, um, like fabric softener. I think all of these smell like car air fresheners, and I mean that in the worst possible way. I mean it in the tree kind of way, like not a fancy one. Right. I think they all smell that way. Not overbearing from from like like a air freshener would, but like. No, when it is lit. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess. A different so. Different story. Um, so this one is called Stems. It's supposed to be. Well, let me tell Fabric you. Fabric softener. That's what I smell. It's supposed to be tulips, roses, daisies, blooming mum, citrus, and fresh dirt. Fresh Smells dirt. Smells like a flower field. Mm. This is like the LaCroix of candles. It's like somebody yelled flowers at a distance and they were like, sure. Yeah, I'm with that. It doesn't smell good, honestly. Okay. All right, like, do smell you think it smells good? No. I think the packaging, so cute. I'm gonna display it for sure. I don't even know what this is. Is this like a... Maybe some kind of like aloe Actually, type of thing. Let's look up that one. This one's even more muted. I feel like there's like something covering the top where I can't smell it. This is Ivy Cash Heliotrope Fresh Cut Grass Grass English okay. Garden. If the color green had a scent, it would be topiary, fresh, leafy, and crisp with a hint of floral. Smells like outside. It smells fresh. Mm. I think these all smell like car wash scents. Mm. And I think they're all bad. No. This one is actually my favorite and it's one that I almost didn't buy, but like, I don't even want to light it. This one based on the scent description is the one I thought I was going to like the most. And I was like, I'm going to order a ton of these. Thank God I only ordered one. Let me tell you. What am I even smelling? Can you tell me? Cause I don't know what I'm smelling. Well, it smells nothing like this, but let me tell you. Okay. This one is called Monogram. Okay. Italian leather, violet leaves, sandalwood. Um, a classically remixed scent. Monogram is luxe, perfumey, and layered with the scent of Italian leather. Feel fancy as fuck every time you burn it. Whoa, copywriter going crazy. Well, feel fancy AF okay, every time you right. burn it. 
Smells like heaven. Smells like your favorite Gucci bag. It smells like a knockoff Gucci bag. It does Whoa. not smell like a leather. Whoa. This one, this is, okay. So this is Canal Street over here. I lit this last night and I all day when it was lit, I was like, what does it smell like? It smells so familiar. First I was like, does it smell like, like Play-Doh? And I was like asking Maddie, like, what do you think it smells like? I can't figure I it out. Know. Finally, it came to me. We went to the car wash. We got one of those leather tree um, scents and we yeah. got it for free. Yeah. And I was, Maddie's car always smells bad. We always say it smells like farts. So we were just hey, like- Hey, this isn't like Maddie's car chat. I'm setting the scene of why I even okay, took it out of the packaging. Under, throw me under my Prius. Well, do you, yeah. All right, so we take it out and we put it up. Within minutes, I have a headache. I'm like, we gotta get it out of the car. I can't smell it. It smells exactly like that and it's Awful, straight up awful. And um, yeah, I think all of these smell like car air fresheners, which is really sad because the packaging is so cute, but like, I don't know what's going on. Mm. Like, That's what? Too bad. Um, it even burned pretty well. It has some residue, but I think that would correct on a second burn, but this one's not gonna get lit again. Um, did a little mushroom, but not bad. Like, burned pretty well. The throw was good to the point where I was like, gotta, I like, brought it upstairs because I didn't want to smell it anymore. I think they're so cute. They're so Instagrammable. Like I'm probably gonna like take pictures with them and like I'll put them on my my candle nook, but this is the most disappointing candle purchase of my bad. life. Wow. Um, because I had such high expectations and even opening it, it was like thrilling opening it and I feel like bad dragging them, but not really because like, what the hell? So what you're saying is like, you're, you feel like uh, uh, 18 year old Maddie walking into Spider-Man 3, thinking it would have been the culmination of such a great trilogy that was set up, but you walked out ultimately disappointed in the, in the direction that the franchise went. Okay, sure, yes. So the spider, this is a Spider-Man 3 of candles is what you're saying. You know, I didn't realize the top of them have the scent on them, mm. on these little things. I'm Doesn't just, matter. I'm just disappointed, like, all the potential is here. These are so cute. They're like the cutest colors, the wax matches, the packaging is cute. They thought of everything except the scent, which is like, bruh, you're a candle company. I need to get away from them because yeah. this is like... All right, well, let's get away from the can. Let's, let's, I don't know, yeah, it's really right. sad. It's all really, right. really wow. sad. Okay. Um, wow. It's right. bad and I'm sad. All right. That's our candle chats. Candle chats.